Today I'm going to show you how to use a super useful website called shadowcalculator.eu I'll put the link down uh, if you have a look below this video you'll find the link and what this website does is that it gives you the shadows of surrounding buildings and it's using Google Maps which is super useful so um, it's quite basic but it's pretty quick so in order to find your site you're gonna have to use Google Map basically so you could do control and roll with your mouse if you want to be quicker and you can see the Sun is kind of like changing depending on where it is that you're going in the world so here we're in London so I'm just going to look at random site and decide so let's look at this location here and I decide I want to build a building where on this sports field here so as you can see it's quite approximate because the thing is that you know, as the buildings are in 3D, you can't really see exact location. Um, so the first thing you have to do is to draw an outline of your building using the tool provided. There we go. So already it gives you the shadow, so I can see how this shadow projects onto my site but I need to get the height of the different points exactly so let's imagine this is 20 meters high it's quite annoying because I need to set each point separately to 20 meters you can see I'm setting them here at 20 meters and you have to do that as far as I know for each independent point one by one so if you have several buildings it might take a few minutes but it's not the end of the word either there we go Check. Okay, so we're nearly there. So we have a building now. Oh, missed one. That's 20 meters high. So now I can look at how the shadow of this building goes onto my site. So it's not normally set at today. I can change the date with this calendar here to so look at other times. But it's useful to look at the midwinter which is basically the winter solstice so you can see how the shadows are really really long there and you can also look at midsummer which is when the shadows are the shor shortest so that can be quite useful 
Obviously, you'd have to perhaps draw the surrounding buildings. I'm not going to do that now, but um, as you can see, it's pretty quick. Um, and I really highly advise you to have a look at this if you want to have a very quick check on how your site might be overshaded by surrounding buildings.